Act two of Carmen is one of the most sensuous, gorgeous uh, musical structures in the history of opera or anything else. It is simply magnificent. It opens up with a, a, just a vibrating gypsy dance that constantly increases in tempo and sets the scene for one of the most exciting uh, operas and acts of an opera in all of opera done. So this is rising action par excellence. It opens with a dance. It goes to a quintet. Five people singing very rapidly, a very funny sort of thing to have happen. And where are we? We go from downtown Sevilla, act one, and where we'll be for act four as well. Remember, Ritornello. We go to the outskirts of town, very much like the outskirts of town in act three of La Boheme, remember? But we go to a place called Lilas Pastias. Lilas Pastia is a, a, a cavern, tavern keeper, but he's also a drug smuggler, or, or smuggler of all kinds of things. And he is the chief smuggler, and his helpers are Carmen and her four friends. So they are the quintet. But as they finish their quintet, they hear a voice singing off stage, and Jose sings a little ariosa. Uh, it's the man from Al Qaeda, he sings, uh, about his hometown. Then he comes on, and Carmen has already decided that she wants Jose as her lover. They've not yet made love, he just got out of jail. And she is dead set on seducing him. Which means she wants him to stay with her that night. Now the problem for Jose is he has to get back to barracks. He has a certain uh, time that he can spend with Carmen no more. And it's coming very quickly. So they engage in a duet and Carmen, finally, as she is wont to do, we will find out, reduces him to a frenzy. At which point he sings a magnificent aria, which is an aria of plot and action. It is built in in such a way that the aria not only exposes his character, but advances the plot tremendously. In this aria, he expresses his great passion and love for Carmen. Finally, climaxing with the words, Carmen, je t'aime. Carmen, I love you. Now, uh, this aria is not only built into the plot perfectly, it is a very difficult and powerful piece and very beautiful. So, he finishes this aria declaring his love and Carmen immediately mocks him and engages in uh, a duet at seducing him. Before she can do that, we hear an offstage trumpet. Music and offstage music are very important in Carmen as they are in most operas. You remember how Mimi and, uh, and uh, Rodolfo leave the stage, in, in actually in both act one and act uh, three, although it didn't happen in this particular the particular production that I recommended to you. Um, and here we have quite a bit of music offstage, singing offstage. So Jose is faced with a problem. Does he go with Carmen? Does he spend the night with her? Or does he choose, does he choose that passion or honor? And in, he does in fact choose honor in this really splendid duet, and Carmen mocks him. But, I won't spoil it for you, but Jose will not be given the chance to receive and appreciate that honor. He will be prevented from a turning, returning to the barracks at Reveille at time, in time. So he has been, in this act, degraded. Here is the beginning of his great fall. In Act One, 
He is seduced by Carmen enough to uh, be deprived of any rank and his honor. He is stripped of rank and he spends a month in jail, but he's still a soldier. At the end of Act Two, he will be A-W-O-L. He will be completely dishonored. And as you will see as we go through the opera, his descent from being a successful career soldier to being unemployed and a criminal will happen in, uh, in this opera. And at the same time he is in descent, Carmen is in ascent. She builds on each man she seduces until at the end of the opera, she is the mistress of the most famous man in Spain. Thanks.